Hi everyone. If you're new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. I'm Dr. Maryam Horiat at Aria Dental, a holistic, biological, integrative, cosmetic, and zirconia dental implant center in South Orange County of California. Today, I'm going to talk about some facts and data regarding toxic silver metals fillings, also known as amalgam or mercury fillings. Before I start, do not forget to visit our website, Aria Dental Care, for more detailed information and videos. Let's start. When you look at your teeth in the mirror, what do you see? Do you see any silver or black metal fillings? Even if you don't see an obvious metal filling, how do you know if you don't have an amalgam or metal filling under your existing porcelain crown? In most cases, when I as a dentist remove a crown that looks like porcelain or a tooth, we find amalgam metal filling under our patient's existing crown. Did you know those amalgam fillings contain more than 50% mercury, a well-known poison and neurotoxin that is responsible for the degenerations of nerve tissue and many other diseases. Mercury is one of the most toxic, non-radioactive substances to the human being. Now the question is, are amalgam or mercury filling truly safe? There are various scientific data about toxic metal amalgam filling, but listen to the three facts below and make a judgment yourself. Number one, in 1991, more than 32 years ago, the World Health Organization acknowledged that the predominant source of human exposure to toxic mercury is from metal amalgam fillings. That should be a concern to everybody, right? Number two, the Environmental Protection Agency, known as EPA, made amalgam separators mandatory nationwide for all general dental offices to prevent mercury from entering the air, water, and land. It simply means that when your dentist remove your mercury or amalgam filling, it cannot go to the suction, then to the environment because of accumulative and persistent toxicity of mercury to our environment. So how could amalgam filling stay in your mouth and constantly leak mercury to other part of your body or organs? Number three, in 1985, the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology, known as IAOMT, measure a substantial amount of mercury leaks from amalgam filling in their animal studies. Their studies show that mercury was transferred and accumulated in the jaw, kidneys, liver, the placenta, to the unborn uh, fetus, and even after birth in the mother's milk. According to IAOMT organization, there is no such a thing as a safe mercury filling. You could find more detailed information on their website, iomt.org. Sadly, about 90 million adults in the U.S. alone have mercury fillings in their teeth. If you're one of those patients with amalgam filling, please listen carefully. According to the International Academy of Oral Medicine and Toxicology, Toxic mercury is continuously released from dental amalgam filling and is observed and retained in the body, particularly in the brain, kidneys, liver, lungs, and gastrointestinal tract. And its vapor has been scientifically linked to many health conditions such as Alzheimer's disease, anxiety and depression, many autoimmune disorders, chronic fatigue syndromes, hearing loss, cardiovascular problems, kidney disease, Parkinson's disease, reproductive dysfunction, thyroiditis, MS, or multiple sclerosis. Mercury comes off your amalgam filling every time you stimulate them simply by chewing, drinking hot drinks, brushing your teeth, and even swallowing your saliva about 700 times per day. Every stimulation causes the mercury to continue leaking out of the filling for at least hour and a half, 90 minutes after each stimulation. That is a long time. Even when you go to your hygienist to get your dental cleaning, you're getting mercury vapor released to your mouth. These are not a small amount of mercury. It is at least thousand times higher than the Environmental Protection Agency will allow for the air we breathe. Now if you want to make your dental appointment to replace your mercury filling, make sure 
you choose a Mercury Safe Dental Office, not just a Mercury Free Dental Office. What is the difference? Mercury Free Office typically refers to a dental offices that do not place dental mercury amalgam fillings, but it doesn't mean they remove your mercury filling safely. Only mercury safe offices use careful safety measure to limit or prevent mercury exposure. Please remember, only about 1% of dental offices are mercury safe dental office in the US and are certified for SMART, which is, stands for Safe Mercury Amalgam Removal Technique by IOMT or follow protocols by IABDM, International Academy of Biological Dentistry and Medicine. Another important fact for you, if safety measures are not used, there will be a high instant exposure to toxic mercury during removing amalgam or mercury fillings. Please make sure your dental office follow every single protocol to make sure that your amalgams are removed safely. This heavy exposure could put you at high risk for many medical conditions. I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe for our weekly video. Love and smile.